Hey guys, finally checking in once again from the garage gym. I wanted to give you guys a quick video on garage gym lighting. Um, I wanted to talk about exactly the type of lights that I'm going to employ, the type, the color temperature, and um, the placements and everything like that. I'm going to show you guys a video of me installing it. Um, one reason I think that garage gym lights are very important in your training is that um, it definitely can affect the environment, and that environment can definitely affect your attitude when it comes to working out. I've had a garage gym since uh, 2012 when I bought my first house, and the first things I always do is um, install uh, better lighting. You know, most garage usually comes with like one light bulb fixture, but it's really easy to turn that one light bulb fixture into several strip lighting fixtures. And it's pretty cheap. It's a lot easier than you really think. There's a lot of resources online. I'm not a I'm not an electrician by any means, but all you really need is some common sense, a couple dollars, and a couple. Uh, cheap little tools. So um, let's get to it. All right guys, uh, so before I started, I wanted to show you guys exactly what I've done, what the, the lights that I've placed um, during my time here in this garage. As you can see, I have strip lighting over there. There's about four T8 bulbs. Um, then there's two light bulbs in my garage door opener. Also, there's um, another four T8 light strip there and a double that I connected with a Romex strip. Uh, when I bought this house um, but almost three years ago, um, you can see that there was just pretty much a light bulb um, where that strip light was, as well as another light bulb over here. Um, and you could imagine how much darker it was. It's not really dark in this room whatsoever, but I could tell you that there's just some imbalances. There's some lighter and darker spots. And I really just wanted to put um, uh, a strip light over the bench as well as the strip light over where I do my Olympic lifts and deadlifts right here. So I'm gonna put it right here next to that fire sprinkler as well as on the other side next to the opposite fire sprinkler next to the rogue sign. All right guys, so this is what I bought from Lowe's today. I spent about $75 on everything that you could see right here. Um, this is what I bought. This is Utilitech. Um, it's a two light wrap. Um, so I, you pretty much use two of these bulbs. It's a T8 style bulb. It's a 32 watt bulb. Um, it produces um, 2,900 lumens per bulb. Um, as you can see, I already have one up there that's a two light fixture. These are four light fixtures uh, where the light bulbs originally were. Um, so these are about $20 each. They're really easy to install. You're gonna want some, some, some Romex. This is uh, indoor wire copper cable. Uh, pretty easy to connect. All you, in a nutshell, all you have to do is connect these two. Um, uh, you have to connect your light fixture to a power source with a uh, Romex. And uh, what I plan to do is I plan to connect this Romex to um, an existing light fixture there and just feed it to where I wanted to place these two new light fixtures. Exactly. Pretty much where these two uh, fire sprinklers are ro located. Alright guys, so I wanted to talk quickly about this, uh, the light bulbs that I did choose for my garage gym. As you can see right here, these are GE 48 uh, four foot bulbs. These are T8. Um, specifically, the color temperature. As you can see right here, these are 3500 um, warm tone. They're closer to the warm tone than they are to daylight. I feel like um, a warm tone light bulb will provide you a better lifting environment than say a 5000 um, you know, color temperature. Um, to put it simply, the, the less, the closer to 3000 you are, the closer it is to say, um, the, the living room, you know, the soft white, the yellowish. Um, I decided to go 3500 3, because it gives you a little bit more warmer tone than 5000. A lot of people recommend the, uh, the daylight, the 5000 temperature, um, but it, for, to me it produces more of a, you know, ultra white, bluish color. And I really don't like that. It, it just makes the room feel a little bit more stark. It makes the room feel a little bit more cold. And um, I definitely don't want that. I definitely want to be a little bit more inviting, easier to the eyes. And um, it's, you know, it's definitely a lot, it provides a warmer environment. It just, it's my personal preference. I also feel that the, everything looks a little bit more natural. The colors look better with um, 3500. Um, it says here it's, it's for workspaces, bright white. Um, and you know, definitely for me, that's just my preference. I do recommend, highly recommend that color color um, temperature if you want to install anything in your garage gym and um, you know definitely if you want to chime in just let me know 
Also, I do highly recommend that you buy one of these uh, garage light timers. These are actually, you can install these anywhere there's a light switch. As you can see, there's a 515 up to a four hour time limit. You just click one of these buttons and um, it'll pretty much stay as long as um, the buttons uh, dictate it to be. It'll automatically turn things off. I oftentimes leave the lights on in my garage accidentally. You know, I, I'm gonna install a lot of light bulbs in here. And um, if you're gonna leave it on overnight, that's just a lot of wasted energy. And uh, you know, I'd highly recommend you do automatic light switches just so you could save money on the electric bill down the line. Alright guys, so this is the finished product. As you can see, I added a strip light over the bench press section and all over the uh, Olympic weightlifting and deadlift area. The lighting is a little bit more prominent. It's definitely a lot brighter in here. Um, like I said, the, uh, the lighting of the room definitely affects the environment and the environment will definitely affect your attitude. Alright guys, so on to the weightlifting portion of the video. I wanted to give you guys um, a quick narrative on today's workout. Um, I had a very good workout today. In part, I think it's due to the uh, awesome lighting that is, is, you know, it's prominent, it's obvious in the video. Um, fun fact, I was actually looking into investing in some box lighting for some filmmaking. But, you know, just adding a couple more strip lights definitely made a huge change in the color gradient and the uh, quality of the videos. So I know a lot of you guys um, like to make workout videos, like to make, um, you know, you know, like to document your, uh, your workouts. Definitely adding a couple more light bulbs in the right places definitely makes a huge, huge change um, in the uh, film quality. Um, so today's workout, I uh, just wanted to kind of keep, um, keep on keeping on with the power lifting. Definitely um, in respects to my previous injury, my piriformis syndrome. Um, I had to avoid using the belt just because it, you know, flares up the sciatic nerve. But I feel like my gains are actually um, going in the right direction. I'm uh, a little bit more mobile every week. Pain's subsiding a lot more, you know, less pain in the morning. And I'm definitely getting stronger in uh, respects to belt lift, beltless weightlifting. Um, today I was actually very happy. Um, not too long ago I wasn't even able to squat 185 for a single rep. But today I was able to hit, as you can see here, 275 for five beltless. And um, following this, uh, this set, I'll be able to hit, uh, I believe, a top set of 295. Um, something that, you know, is surprising to me how fast um, my muscle memory is actually um, engaging. Um, so definitely happy with that. I'm definitely learning to, um, I'm definitely having a lot more proprioception in terms of my um, breathing um in bearing you know in, in breathing into my belly protecting my lumbar spine protecting my we using my core um and definitely that's um i think that's a great thing to um to start training for if you've never actually you know if you've always used to lifting with a belt i think it's a good idea to um find a guru who's who specializes in um in you know power lifting and maybe they could help you get stronger without using a belt safely and effectively. Um, there's definitely a lot of things, a lot of ways you can, um, you know, you can train your body to kind of get stronger. And one of the most effective ways is to just kind of go raw, um, kind of use, you know, throw the belt away, go from the bottom and uh, build yourself up. And I think that's, um, I'm kind of thrown into that uh, realm from this injury just because using um you know a belt and braces just kind of makes things a little bit more painful for me so i'm very happy with that and i'm very happy that um i was able to hit uh 295 for a set of five i felt that the speed was good um pain was minimal um i might uh pay for it tomorrow morning but you know definitely happy with the progress i'm making in terms of squats um for as for goals 
um, I'm going to be looking for a new powerlifting cycle, um, a new strength building or weightlifting cycle. Uh, I'm not necessarily sure which one yet. I haven't been online. I haven't been uh, researching any new programs, um, you know, for the duration of uh, the injury that I've just, um, you know, I'm healing from for the last nine months. But um, I'm going to be starting a new program. In the past, I've done um, the Candido. I've done the Juggernaut. Uh, 531 is very attractive to me. I've done that before with really good uh, success. And I've also done the Shaco cycle. You know, that's where I hit um, 555 on the dead and over 5 on the squat. Also, um, in terms of goals, I really wanted to focus on my bench press. Uh, historically, bench has always been my weakest lift. Um, so I wanted to kind of, you know, get stronger in that. And, um, you know, my, my upper body definitely feels good. It wasn't really... Um, you know, my strength wasn't negated by the injury. It's just the lack thereof of training that I've had in the last year. Um, here I have, um, you know, I'm just working on some cleans. Um, also very happy that I'm able to bend down and reach the bar uh, with a narrow foot position. Um, in, in that fact, I'm actually able to do conventional deadlifts here. Um, also very happy with my progress in that. Like I mentioned earlier, I was learning to lift without the belt, and I've also started to lift without the ego. Um, you know, that's kind of been my detriment. I've uh, been kind of an ego lifter. You definitely want to hit more weights. Um, kind of just, you know, lift, lift first, ask questions later. But now, you know, I'm definitely getting older. Somebody commented in one of my videos earlier saying, uh, welcome to old age. <laughs> and, you know, it, you know, I'm 31 years old, but... For a while, I felt like I was 60, 61 years old, just all my back pain waking up and everything like that. But anyways, um, definitely throw the ego out the window. Um, you know, just kind of make minor increases in weight week by week, uh, ultimate goal. Um, health, you know, health is wealth. Um, staying pain-free, staying as healthy as possible and be happy with the lifting. And as long as lifting is fun for you, as long as you're enjoying your time in the gym, I really don't think anyone can say anything about your progress in the gym or whatever. Um, lifting is, um, you know, your relationship to the barbell is it's between you and the barbell and it's not really anyone else's um, uh, business to let, let you know exactly what, you know, you should be doing or what should make you happy in the gym. As long as you're, you're banging it out, you're enjoying your time, um, and, you're, you're, you know, you're making the gains that you want to make. That's definitely uh, a good factor for you. Anyways, I kind of went on the tangent there, uh, back onto the, today's workout. Um, deadlifting went well. Here I'm doing 245. Um, I'm questioning my form here. Um, when I was doing the lift, it's been so long for me to do conventional deadlift that I had to kind of, um, you know, figure out um, exactly, um, you know, the the right way to pull. Um, it might it might look okay here. But it's, I still feel very, it, it feels very alien to me. I feel like as if I'm, uh, um, you know, locking my knees out too early here. Um, and then and then the middle of my spine definitely, there's like kind of a twinge. Um, when I had the, the injury that I've been dealing with recently, um, the, the left hip was so tight that it, I had mild scoliosis, according to my chiropractor, it was pulling my spine to the left. Um, so that's definitely something I'm going to have to factor in in my future workouts. Uh, definitely uh, try to avoid, you know, in re-injuring that. Um, when, when you injure one side of the muscle, definitely the other side could be a little bit stronger, could be tighter, could be looser. Um, so it's definitely something that I'm going to have to keep my eye on. Anyways, at the end of my workout today, um, I wanted to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing and for following me for so long now. You, you know, making these videos, um, it's definitely helpful for me. It helps, keeps me motivated. Definitely, it's, uh, it's awesome to have a little community that I have, you know, all the comments and questions and uh, back and forth with you guys and messages. It's all been, it's mostly been uh, a very positive experience. All right, guys, I hope this video has been helpful. Um, hopefully you know, um, making a garage gym and adding lighting is definitely a plus. And um, I'll see you guys next time. 
Don't forget to lift something heavy.